Prescott Van Meyer III, sommelier from home, another in our $5 treasure series. Today is E&J Apple Brandy. This one has been in our comments for quite some time, and it is a true $5 treasure in that I picked this up for $4.99. There's a lot of change to count out, but it was worth it. Many of you have mentioned this, wanting me to do this, and now I finally have my hands on it. I was uh, saving it for a special occasion, and I realized that there was no special occasions in my life, so I went ahead and grabbed it. But hey, the day you open up an E&J Apple Brandy, that's the special occasion itself. As you can see, the ornamentation on it very simple, yet there's an elegance to this green label. Has some nice filigree here. I don't know if that's the correct word, but I'm using it, I'm sticking by it. It has that uh, caramel color to it, and they admit right on the front, it has natural apple flavors and caramel color. So, ornamentation is very simple, but I do gotta appreciate this. That's glass, baby, that's right. So many of our $5 treasures have come in medicinal style plastic that it is a breath of fresh air to get something that would hurt very much. And it's hurting my knuckles. But the pain lets me know I'm alive. There was a peach offering as well, but I noticed apple in the comments much more frequently than the peach, so we went with the apple. This is actually a liquor that I have never tried before. So I know it by reputation only. Now I mentioned Aunt Karen on the phone that I was reviewing this. And boy, did she have some stories to tell. She went through a lengthy E&J period, as she calls it. She said it was a dark period in her life, but she could not contain her laughter as she told me story after horrifying story. I would tell you some of her stories, but I don't think the statute of limitations has surpassed on all of them. I'm not sure which ones even have statute of limitations. So, some of those are for life. Hope you don't get caught. <laughs> he deserved it. E&J. All right. Well, uh, let's see, www.ejbrandy.com. I'll have to put that into my Bing search later tonight. E&J Apple is a unique twist on a time-honored classic. Made with a blend of brandy and natural apple flavors, it's so smooth it can be enjoyed straight up or mixed. Well, as is our want here, sell me in from home, I'll be enjoying it straight up. Well, let's open it up, see what it smells like. That is apple as sh and a not unpleasant way. Now it does remind me of the apple flavors you would get with some apple flavored candies. But there's also some notes in there that are pleasant. Like an apple strudel or like McDonald's apple pies, which we know don't contain apples. Those are little pieces of dehydrated potato. At least that's what I read on the internet once. Obviously got the, the brandy coming through, but very tart, very tart with that apple. All right, let's give it a taste. Well, I expected the sweetness, but the tartness really comes through. I mean, that is a, a robust amount of apple flavor that they put in there. Not unpleasant. When they say brandy, I think they just kind of mean the coloring. It doesn't really give me a very classic brandy flavor to it. The apple is very overpowering, but uh, I can see why people enjoyed this. Let's give it another taste. Mm. So this comes in at 60 proof, 30% alcohol. So a decent amount of alcohol in there. The tartness is really its own unique characteristic. And uh, I gotta say, it's pretty pleasant. They're doing their label justice. The tartness is absolutely matching what you would find in a Granny Smith green apple. It has a nice vibrancy to it. So the fruitiness is uh, actually not inauthentic. For $5, I can see you putting this in some cocktails, actually having it on ice. This is uh, quite a good deal. I wouldn't necessarily see this in my father's brandy snifter. <laughs> he was a bit of a snob. But uh, you know, for your regular non-snobs out there, you could do worse. Well, I've got nearly a full bottle of this E&J apple brandy here. Don't want it to go to waste, so if you have any ideas what to mix it with, leave in the comments below, and maybe there'll be an episode of me doing that. And if you don't know any recipes, just go to www.bing.com forward slash 
alcohol recipes forward slash search. And you should be able to see dozens of results. Send a picture of what you find. I mean, this is a flavor that would do Granny Smith proud. How is Granny Smith doing? I hope she's okay. Say hi to her for me. She's what? She's dead. Oh. Well, thanks for the update, Dalton. That is sad. Anyways, $5 treasure series, all I do is give you a thumbs up or a thumbs down, and decidedly a thumbs up for Ian J. Apple Brandy. If you like apple Jolly Ranchers or apple Blow Pops, but you want it in liquid form, blazing with alcohol, Ian J. has your product. Ian J. has your back.